Lancelot went out and said to his sons-in-law, who were to marry his daughters, Up, get out of this place, for the Lord is about to destroy the city. But he seemed to his sons-in-law to be jesting. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when I the living God have given the declaration that I am indeed the high tower of safety, know that I am. And know that you can partake of that presence time and again, as you will come in to me. That is, as you will run into me when the enemies are ranting and roaring, when the wicked one is seeking to devour, when the demons are gnashing and tearing. I say that it is me, the living God, that you may run into and be kept. For I say you are not meant to look at this present world, as though it bears rule over thee, for it does not. For I say it is me, the living God, who does separate you from the world by the strength that I provide. For I say you are not meant to be torn asunder, you are not meant to be devoured and destroyed. But I say you are meant to be kept by me. Therefore I say, be rejoicing, be uplifted, be glad, be giving me thanks and praise. That it is me you can look to, that it is me you can believe in, that it is me you can trust and obey. For I say, when you truly consider that I am the one who is the life unto my own, that I am the one who is the strength, the truth, and the purpose, I say, be made glad in me. For I say, you are not meant to be overwhelmed nor devoured, you are not meant to be destroyed. But I say, you are meant to realize that I don't have been God, I'm the one who provides you with defense, who provides you with safety, who provides you with strength time and again. And I say, you are meant to understand that it is me who is indeed the one who is the keeper of your soul. For I say, when you will indeed walk uprightly in me, then you are kept by me. For I say that I, the living God, do give the promise to the righteous that I am the one that may run into and be kept. For I say, when you look to me as the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end, when you partake of me as the one who does care for thy soul, then of course you are uplifted, guided, and directed by me. And I say, of course you are kept, for I will keep thee time and again. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to be made glad, ever thankful, day by day, that it is me you can look to and believe. And I say it is me, the living God, who does purpose thee in the pathway wherein you can be guided by me. For I say if you look to me as the author and the finisher, if you look to me as the beginning and the end, then you are ever guided by me. And yes, you are given the strength and the truth, the light and the hope that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed ever present to the ones who will keep trusting, to the ones who will keep believing and looking to me. For I say that I, the living God, do not leave my people to be overwhelmed, devoured, and destroyed, as they continue to trust in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is far above the men who seek to devour and destroy. And it is me, the living God, who is well able to return the counsel of the wicked upon them, and they are destroyed. Therefore I say, keep hoping, keep looking unto me, keep trusting, for it's me, the living God, who will guide you forth in a sin-sick world. For I say, you are living in times of gross darkness, yet I say, you are not meant to become darkened by the same. And I say, you are living in times when men and women will betray and turn back to the ways of wickedness, the ways of darkness, only to be devoured in the same. But I say, you are not meant to turn back when you see the ones who back up on me. But I say you are men to realize they are fools who will be destroyed in their folly and they will come under my wrath. 
And I say, for all of their proud imaginings, for all of the conjurings of the wickedness of their own evil hearts, I say they are the ones who will be devoured in the same. For I say, when men will turn from me and back up from the way of truth, what is it that is awaiting them? I say it is nothing but the way of lies and their own destruction. I say this day it is stupidity to turn back when you could indeed turn in to me and be kept. That is, when you could run in to me as thy defense, thy high tower of safety, against the ranting, the lying of the wicked one sent to devour. And I say that you can indeed be uplifted and purposed, ever guided in the truth and the life, the strength that I provide. For I say when it is me that you keep your focus upon, it is me who guides you forth in my way. And it is me who will prove to be the light, the truth, the mercy, and the strength day by day. Therefore I say in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, let it be me that you will continue to look unto day by day. And let it be me who will prove to be life unto thee, as you will rely upon me as the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. For I say that idol of beloved will not withhold any good thing from the ones who will choose to walk uprightly in me. But I say that I will give to the ones who obey me the way wherein they are kept day after day. That is the way of my truth, the way of my light, the way of my mercy provided. Now I say this day that I, the living God, did not give the way of my truth for men to abandon the same. But I say that I've given the way of my truth for men to come forth ever rejoicing in me. For I say when you will be uplifted and guided, directed and instructed in truth, then I say you can serve in the attitude of gratitude. But I say when you see the ones who turn aside the lies, they turn aside to the way of their own despair. Now I say you are living in times when many have accepted lies rather than the truth because they assume it is an easier way. But I say what is easy about being far distant from me and found under my wrath revealed. And I say what is easy about going to hell and damning your own soul. For I say in the end the agony, the torment that remain forever cannot be escaped. I say this day consider that I the living God am ever present unto you as you will learn dependency upon me. For I say it is not a shame to depend upon me, to rely upon my way. But I say it is my purpose, my desire, my plan, that you would be brought forth ever guided in me. That you would be given the strength and the truth and the mercy that I provide. Now I say this day that I the living God do not call my people to hold to a proud image of who and what they think they are. But I say that I call my people to see their utter need of me. And I say, when you truly are repentant, I say you will not make an idol of your former lifestyle, wherein you wallowed in the filth of sin. But I say, you will understand you were a fool headed to your own damnation. Now I say, when you see the ones who turn back as the sow, to wallow in the mire, what do you see? I say, you see fools who are indeed blinded by the God of this world. And I say, you see fools who have refused sound counsel to take up the way of lies. And I say that they will be utterly destroyed because they've gone abhorring from me. I say, this day do not choose the way of boredom, for I say to do so is to choose the course of your own destruction. But I say, instead be ever thankful to choose the way of my life. And I say, be ever thankful to be purpose directed and brought forth in me. For I say, it is me, the living God alone, that you are meant to seek, to please, to serve and obey. And it is me, the living God, who is ever present to guide you forth in my way. Now I say this day, do not, absolutely do not be quick to assume that you can go according, take a spree and sin, and come back undefiled. For I say, when any will turn again to wallow in the mire, I say they are wallowing in the filthiness, they are wallowing in the degradations, and I say they are defiled in the same. I say this day that I, the living God, do offer to my people the place of defense against the wicked one, the high tower of safety. And I say when my people will truly take me at my word, I say that they can be kept in me. But I say when the ones who are claiming to be my people would rather believe the lies of the liar than adhere to the truth, then I say they pay for their play. For I say there are multitudes who are bankrupt concerning their faith in me because they lent themselves to lies. That is, they believe the lies of the liar they believed in self-promotion and exaltation and oh how great they once were when they wallowed in sin. 
that it is they forgot the truth that they were dogs that they were defiled and they were literally damned and I say they abandoned what it is that I'd done for them to take up the way of their own destruction. Now I say this day such ones you will see them in heaps, for they are utter creeps because they chose to depart from me. And I say they are covered in the filthiness of their fornications, they are damned in their drunkenness, and oh, they think they have arrived at some great state. But I say the day of reckoning comes and they realize they are slaves imprisoned to the sin they chose above me. And I say that the sadness, the sorrow of their degradations is ever present to haunt them in their lives. And I say they live out their days as slaves of sin because they chose the way of the liar above the truth. I say it is not a beautiful thing to behold, but I say it is a tragedy, a sorrow. And I say it is because of the stupidity that men choose above sound counsel. That is, they do not choose my wisdom and to be guided in the same. But I say they choose the cheap way, the death way, the way of damnation of soul. I say this day be thankful that you can indeed be kept in me as you will continue to adhere unto me. That is, as you will cry out, you will find that I will keep you time and again. And yes, you will find that it is me, the living God, who is the rock of refuge, the strength, the truth, and the mercy given to my own. And yes, you will find that it is me, the living God, who is the high standard to those who want to believe they will receive of me. Now I say this day, do not be as the foolish who are choosing to lose out with me. But I say instead, be as the wise who will keep their eyes ever upon me. And I say, be thankful that I will guide you forth in the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. And I say, be thankful that I will give unto you such as you need. Now I say, in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, consider that it is me you are meant to look to and believe. And I say, consider that you are not meant to take on the corruption of the world and be corrupted. I say, consider that you are indeed called to be separated and consecrated unto me. For I say that my people are not meant to reflect the filth, the defilement, the uncleanness, the drunkenness of the world, but I say they are meant to walk soberly in me. And I say that my people are meant to shine as lights in the darkness to a sin sick world. Now I say when you see the ones whom I the living God have honored with my covering, and they turn again to shame, know they are completely stupid and dull and dumb before me. For I say, when any man or woman returns to eat of the filth of the world, take on the covering of the same, they take on death. And yes, they will indeed reflect the very death they have chosen above life. And yes, they will indeed show that they are complete fools because of what it is that they've done towards me. I say this day when you see the ones who have played their games, when you see the ones who have done their thing, and then they are at the end of it all, what do they have? I say they have condemnation, they have damnation, and they have destruction of soul. So for all of their proud resistance and rebellion against me, what did they gain? I say they gain the way of their own destruction, damnation, and despair. I say this day be thankful that I am the one you can run to, that you can look to, that you can be found in day after day, that you can indeed complete the course that is put before thee, ever rejoicing in me, that you can indeed be made glad that I am the truth and the light, the mercy, the hope, and the purpose given unto my own. For I say it is me, the living God, who will keep you in mercy if you keep yourselves in me. Elsewise you depart, you end under my wrath revealed. I say what a great trophy to end up damned forever because you could rebel against me. I say do not be as the fools who chosen that way, but I say continue to run into me. guilty of idolatry, of worshiping gods other than him, because God the Father is the Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 6. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? I am speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations. For just as you once presented your members as slaves to impurity and to lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness, leading to sanctification. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin, 
and alive to God in Christ Jesus.